That was a piece. That was a piece called "Into the Clouds," and uh, I like the energy of it. I like the idea of of remembering after um, Jesus came and after he was crucified, and that he was then raised, and imagine him ascending back into the clouds. And then I like pairing that with the idea that one day, hopefully not too far in the future, we'll be going with him into the clouds. Next up we have a piece um, called Prelude on an Old English Hymn and it is an arrangement of all creatures of our God and King.
We're going to make a quick transition here. I hope it's quick. Uh, to the corral. And I will let um, Mr. Hansen, my name is Sherry Hansen, and I'm the band director at Glendale Academy. This is my husband, Tim Hansen, and he directs the corral. There's the story of the uh, two thieves on the cross uh, when Jesus was dying, and one on the left and one on the right. And the one was mocking Jesus. You know, if he's really this great, uh, if he's really this great rabbi, if he's really the Messiah, why is he letting this happen? And the other guy said, don't be foolish. And uh, Jesus said to him, you will be with me in paradise. Do, Lord, do, Lord, remember me.
I forgot that on the first song we sang that many of you don't, well, I, I shouldn't underestimate this particular audience, but I was thinking for myself that I don't really know very ma many Latin words, so when a song is sung in la Latin, I'm not always sure what they're talking about. Uh, so that first song we sang was really Psalm 150, the one that talks about praising the Lord with drums and cymbals and organs and uh, flutes and all kinds of instruments. And so that's why I think it's really a cool setting because it's a very, we're using our voices as almost as instruments rather than, uh, than uh, sort of vocal, uh, in a vocal style. Our uh, third song that we're going to sing for you today is Didn't My Lord Deliver Daniel? And if he could deliver Daniel from the lions, surely he can solve my problems. Why, uh, didn't my Lord deliver Daniel? Why not every man? My Lord delivered Daniel, and why not every man? Did my Lord deliver Daniel, deliver Daniel, deliver Daniel? Did my Lord deliver Daniel, and why not every man? Did my Lord deliver Daniel, deliver Daniel, deliver Daniel? Did my Lord deliver Daniel, and why not every man? Daniel from the lion's den, Jonah from the belly of the whale, and the Hebrew children from the fiery furnace, and why not every man? Did my Lord deliver Daniel, deliver Daniel, deliver Daniel? Did my Lord deliver Daniel, and why not every man? The wind blows east and the wind blows west, it blows like a judgment day. And every poor soul that never did pray will be glad to pray that day. Did my Lord deliver Daniel? Deliver Daniel? Deliver Daniel? Deliver my Lord deliver Daniel? And why not every man? I set my foot on the gospel ship, and the ship it began to sail. It landed me over on Canaan shore, and I'll never come back anymore. Did my Lord deliver Daniel?
You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to that day of final deliverance when we're delivered from our trials and our troubles on this earth. And one of the questions that I ask myself happens to be the next uh, song that we're going to sing. The title is, Will the Circle Be Unbroken? And as, as we look around at people we love, uh, we are hoping to see them on that day as well. Will the circle be unbroken by and by? And that's my prayer for all of us as faithful believers, that we will not be the ones breaking that circle, but we will be there all together to enjoy eternity with Jesus. Sometimes I think as Christians, we're entirely too sad. We've got so much great news. We've got the story of salvation. We've got so many great stories in the Bible where God worked miraculously. And yet, we dwell on our troubles and trials. This next uh, and our final song for the chorale set is called Witness. Who will be a witness for my Lord? And we will be witnesses for God if we are cheerful witnesses. We tell joyfully what he's done for us, and we're excited about his return. So I, want, I, I encourage each of you to become a joyful witness for God. Who'll be a witness for my Lord? Who'll be a witness for my Lord? 
Who will be a witness for my Lord? Who will be a witness for my Lord? Oh, I'll be a witness, be a witness for my Lord. I'll be a witness for my Lord. I'll be a witness for my Lord. I will be a witness for my Lord. There was a man of the Pharisees. His name was Nicodemus, and he didn't believe. The same came to Christ by night. What is to be taught out of human sight? Nicodemus was a man who desired to know how a man can be born when he's old. Christ told Nicodemus as a friend, Man, you must be born again. He said, Come on, not man, man, if you want to be born, speak yes. Believe and be baptized. Then you'll be a witness for my Lord. 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 Witness for my Lord. You read about Samson. From his birth, he was the strongest man that ever lived on earth. Way back yonder in Times. He killed ten thousand of the Philistines. Then old Samson went a wandering about. Samson's strength was never found out. Till his wife sat upon his knee. She said, Tell me where your strength lies, if you please. Oh, Samson's wife, she talked so fast. Samson said, Cut off of my head. Cut it off. In my head, just as clean as your head. And my strength will come but like a natural man. Samson was a witness for my Lord. Samson was a witness for my Lord. is called River of Hope, and it's an arrangement of the tune um, Down to the River to Pray. As I went down to the river to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the robe and crown, good Lord, show me the way, River of Hope.
our next piece is called Variants on an Early American Hymn Tune. And it's um, a band arrangement of a tune that was written in probably the southern uh, United States uh, in the 1800s in a tradition called shape note singing. Has anyone ever heard of shape note singing? Okay. So it was kind of a shorthand that, um, that was developed to help teach people to sing. And at that time, uh, people would get together on maybe a Saturday afternoon, Sunday, whatever, sometime when they just wanted to um, be together and do something social, and they would sing. That was their entertainment. Hey, what do you, do? What do you want to do tonight? Hey, let's all get together and do some shape note singing. I think it sounds fantastic, but I'm not sure um, that it would catch on today. But there were a lot of those hymns that were written and put into a, a hymn book, the most famous of which was the Sacred Harp. And this is one of those uh, hymns. It's called Brethren, We Are Met to Worship. That's the tune that's in this arrangement. And the lyrics are... Brethren, we have met to worship. Oh, I've lost it. Here we go. Um, Brethren, we have met to worship and adore the Lord our God. Will you pray with all your power while we try to preach the word? All is vain unless the spirit of the Holy One come down. Brethren, pray, and holy manna will be showered all around.
close the program tonight with a song called Fantasy on a Gaelic hymn tune. So this was a Scottish Gaelic, Scottish Gaelic tune that the words were set to, um, and the, the words are the hymn that you may know, Morning Has Broken. Um, so... The way I like to think of this, morning has broken like the first morning, blackbird has spoken like the first bird. Um, it was written to celebrate each new day, each new gift that we're given of another day, another day to maybe be better, maybe do better, maybe do more, maybe reach one more person uh, as a witness um, for Jesus Christ. And I also like to look at it um, pointing forward um, to mix in another song here that's not in this arrangement. I like to look at it pointing forward to that great getting up morning when the people we've missed, the people that we no longer get to be with um, each day, when we'll be reunited with them and reunited with um, our Father in Heaven. And I hope tonight that kind of the bulk of our songs, we're pointing forward how we can have hope, how we can um, celebrate the promise of a better day. Morning has broken.
on behalf of the entire Glendale Academy band and chorale, I would like to say, th say thank you so much for hosting us this evening. We uh, enjoyed the food so very, very much, and we are accustomed to outnumbering the crowd on Friday night when we go to uh, play at churches, and it doesn't trouble us. I mean, where, where two or three are gathered together, uh, God is there. Uh, but I am so excited with the number of people that is here tonight. I'm so thankful for all of you for turning in. Yeah, give yourself a hand. You know, every one of us needs some encouragement in the faith now and then. Don't you, don't you agree with me? And it is so affirming to have other believers in in our presence, and, uh, and to realize that we're not alone, but that there are, there's a whole army of, uh, of individuals that is uh, seeking God and seeking truth and seeking what is right, and it's, it's nice to be in the company of those people. Let's bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you so much uh, for your many blessings. I ask that we keep the, uh, keep the goal in mind and not trouble with the distractions and the, the challenges and the stumbling blocks, but focus on the true prize and focus on what you have done for us. Be, be with us throughout this evening and through the Sabbath hours. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.